It's 8.46 at iFiber One News Radio. We're diving deep into a great conversation with the Port of Shelton today during Port of Call. Dick Taylor, Wendy Smith on the air. Good morning, gang. How you Good doing? Good morning. How are you? Good to see you both. Uh, nice day here uh, at the Port. We had some great conversations about things that were happening uh, last week. And, Wendy, what's, uh, what's new with the Port? Well, I have some great news, actually. Oh, wonderful. So glad you asked. Um, the first of which is we are applying for, through um, CURB, which is part of somewhat a part of Department of Commerce through the state of Washington. It's Community Economic Revitalization Board. Okay. And they fund various projects, and the projects um, typically need to fit criteria like you're creating more jobs, you're building infrastructure, that kind of thing. So ours is a partner with Fraser Metalworks, okay. who we had on the air yeah. some time back. And um, we are doing a committed partner grant. And so we applied tier one is how you start. And we got our congratulations notice yesterday morning, I believe. And they said, please enter in for tier two. Okay. So that means we have to submit further information and then head to their board meeting in November and find out if we get funded. So that would be a partnership. We match the dollars. It's a it's half of its grant funding, mm -hmm. so totally free money. And the other half would be a really low interest loan. So it's very exciting. For and this us. would so be to help uh, both you and Fraser Metalworks. It or? would be. It's it's um, right. it would be just for that piece of property that he's leasing. Um, there's lots of things about that property that need to happen. We're doing a fence currently that would be included in our match money. There's a septic system that needs needs to go in for that. He's got a lot of infrastructure, you know, his old mill, yeah, and yeah. so he's enclosing walls, that kind of thing. So all the infrastructure engineering, we could pay for all that with this. So, and he's talking about, um, I think today they have 15 employees and he's looking at 28 to 40. Wow. And so wow. that's why it's fitted, you know, sure. it's just fitting for this. So that frees up, you know, this is money that could be spent by him to enhance the property or by the poor. What this does is it frees up and lets him purchase um, uh, items for his business that will make his processes quicker, more yeah. efficient, and able to do more business, which means more employees. Oh, so wow. All around, it's really, really awesome. So, so what's the timeline on something like this? Um, for funding? So or you move from Tier 1 now into Tier, tier two. 2. Is there so a 3 or 4? I mean, no, everything will okay. be due. Um, it's I think it's on a Monday, the 26th. Oh, okay. So it's coming really fast. And then we have to attend the board meeting. We'll attend and Ben will attend and um, Lynn Longin from EDC. So it's a big partnership. We'll mm -hmm. all attend the board meeting and these board members consist of state agency representatives, different port district commissioners, executive directors, various business owners and CEOs. And it's just a wide range of, of people that sit on that board. They look at the projects at this board meeting in November and then they determine whether they fund or not. And, and according to the CURB representative that we met with, she said she rarely will send a project forward that isn't going to get. Oh, funded. wow. So That's I think she feels pretty yeah, So keep your fingers so. crossed. Isn't yeah. that something? Yeah. Yeah, we That's don't want to really break great. her precedent. So no, we would know in mid-November, mid and you know the day of the meeting. You don't have to, you know, go to the meeting, sell your story, and then eight months later you find oh, out. You know good. the day of the meeting is wow. my understanding. So you walk out knowing whether you were funded or not, and then you move on to the project, and it starts, and there's a, a bunch of good stuff about it, you know, because you can start your project and defer the payments until, you know, a couple years later. Oh, so wow. it's really a, a great, great program. So I like it. Great news. Really excited. Great yeah. news. The other piece I have is, you, I know you talked yeah. to Brandon last week yep. about projects, and so um, our representative from the FAA, Kevin Yarnell, came down Monday to visit and just see the property and kind of see where the run-up apron is going to go, and he, Brandon took him around and toured the whole property, and he just had nothing but just great things to say about how nice our properties look and how well-maintained, and for the staff size, mm -hmm. our guys, our maintenance guys, again, big plugs for them. I mean, they just do an yeah, immense super, amount super of work, quick. Wow. and he just raved. I mean, he's got airports all over sure. the, you know, I mean, I think he probably has five that he covers. I'm not sure which ones those are, but he said this is just spectacular. Oh, well, so, that's great news. So great yeah. job. To that's the guys. really nice. Yeah. Commissioner Taylor, what's going on on the commission side there at the port? Oh, same old stuff. We're going to have another meeting, what, next week? Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing our budget discussions. Yeah. Uh, and we'll have to have, a, I think we're going to have a workshop sometime in the near future to talk about uh, proposed budget and okay. so we'll get that going it all has to be done by what 15th of october 
Mid October. The first of October. Yeah, the first part of the first. It's the first Tuesday following the first Monday or something Whatever. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so October Early October will okay. be our will be okay. our actual budget hearing. Yeah, okay. So. And then uh, it has to be completed by what the fifteenth of October though. Right? To go no. to the county. No, the next day. The Wednesday oh, after oh, the, the Wednesday. first Tuesday oh, after God. the oh, first right. Monday. Okay. After. Well, anyway, it's yeah. early in October. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do it. So. Okay. So That's October, why we have staff yeah. like like yeah. Wendy that leads <laughs> yeah. us down the path to make sure we stay in the right direction. That's right. what's going on. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, that's that's where we're going. Okay. Uh, Any thoughts on the uh, with the commission on uh, maybe what you guys are looking ahead to trying to implement in the next year or next couple of years with the current commission before any kind of changes there? Well, we're just the standard stuff. We're going to keep going on the marina upgrades okay. uh, in Johns Prairie, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, there's some things in the woods uh, or in the weeds that, that we're working on uh, at Sanderson Field. That, okay. Uh, yeah, I hope will be some, some really good stuff when we do it. Wonderful, wonderful. But, yeah, we're moving along. And... Uh, how about the Mariners? What? So what is it? Uh, we just had that, that they, seven, seven in a row? Yeah. yeah, seven in a row. <laughs> Two and a half games out of the wild card. I was looking at some of their opponents at the end of this month. They're going to be playing Toronto in some big games as yeah. they're leading the wild card. But, man, they are doing great. I was doing super. Yeah, time one walker, wasn't it? Uh, Almost had a no-hitter. Yeah. yeah. After, that, after, after your Huskies. Oh, the Huskies. Well, yeah, of course they played two big name opponents. Yeah, so. yeah big names. Uh, I like yeah. it. They are yeah, looking good. good. Everything's looking good. Things are great. At and the, the Seahawks point. squeezed by. And the Seahawks just <laughs> squeezed by. What was it, 12 to 10 or something? Oh, my yeah. gosh. That was a nail biter for mm. sure. Uh, I like the information on the CURB grant. That's what it's called, the C U R B grant. C E R B. C E R B. Okay. Well, we'll. Uh, Continue to monitor that, and uh, we'll we'll know uh, before too long how yes. that's all working out. Yeah. Yes. Great stuff. Yeah. For a call this week and every week at this time, we're going to surface on out, and it's 8.54. Thanks for talking with me this Our morning. Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to see you. It is, uh, again, 8.54 here at I-501 News Radio.